we know that moment of inertia is a physical quantity which identifies how easy it is or how difficult it is to put a body in rotational motion it is defined as the summation of product of mass of each particle with the square of the distance from the axis of rotation therefore let us imagine there is a body who is having mass let it is rotated about a given axis as it is shown now how do we calculate the moment of inertia of this body is from the axis we will identify all the particles that the body has there are so many particles we have to actually identify all the particles and identify the distance of all that particles also again from the axis of rotation that may be like uh, r1 r2 r3 r4 therefore we can calculate the moment of inertia of the system as m1 r1 square m2 r2 square m3 r3 square and m4 r4 square and so on so this is simply the summation of product of mass of each particle with the square of the distance so if we want to calculate the moment of inertia actually we have to do this this is mathematically done with a phenomena called something like a integration now suppose you are having the same body now and all of a sudden you have changed the axis of rotation let you have changed the axis of rotation first axis of rotation is this one now the new axis of rotation is this one so what happens when axis of rotation changes tell me what happens have you identified that whenever axis of rotation changes distance of each particle from the axis of rotation is also different as the distance is different automatical moment of inertia also different therefore moment of inertia changes why it changes though mass of the each particle is same distance of each particle from axis of rotation changed isn't it axis of rotation is changed as the distance changes moment of inertia also changes therefore if i call the moment of inertia about the first axis is i second axis is i dash for sure i is different from that of i dash moment of inertia changes with the axis of rotation because the body particles are at different distances therefore i also changes i changes definitely with the axis of course for a given body generally mass won't changes if mass changes of course moment of inertia obviously changes assuming the body is same and the mass is same it will change with the axis it will change with the size of the body same mass but if you are having a different size it will change with the shape of the body whenever shape changes distance of size changes distance of the particles from the axis of rotation change automatically moment of inertia also changes